What's going on guys? It's me, Daily Bricks here, and today we're going to be shopping on Goodwill to see if we can't find some Lego minifigure hauls worth some cash. Here on the uh, front page of Goodwill, I think we're just going to type in Lego. There's a lot of these small parsed out uh, minifigure bundles, and actually some of them are pretty good. Lots of clones, high value figures, and the bidding has already gone up pretty high on them. There's a lot of these uh, large lego boxes filled with stuff there's also some sealed lego dimension stuff no idea what lego dimensions is but apparently it exists i think i'm gonna make a bid on this lot it comes with a whole lot of clones and mando and that gree figure is worth a pretty penny um it's at 67 i think i'd only want to go up to 75 not 756 75. next up there's this lego lot with some superheroes lego city stuff and some of those ghost boy Legos. This just looks like a solid lot and it's only at 16 bucks. So I think I'd go up to like 25 on that. This is 25 pounds of just Lego bulk. And honestly, I've been actually looking for some Lego bulk for mocks and stuff like that. It's only at 82 bucks. I'll go to a hundred. I think for 25 pounds of Lego bulk, that's worth it. Let's see, are we the top? Yes, we are. Next up this, the, the Trade Federation MTT. Uh, it's unknown if there is missing pieces in it. Like, this would be a huge gamble. Oh shoot, wait, are those? Those might be the original bags. I'm gonna gamble, I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna go 500. This is a big one. I just wanted to like point out this one. This is going for $1,700. That's incredible. It is 7.2 pounds of straight Star Wars Lego minifigs. I mean, that's insane. This one's also at 719. I think that might be the Cloud City Leia. There's only 40 or so figures in here apparently. It, there's gotta be something rare in there that people are seeing. We ended up actually winning everything but the MTT. I also ended up getting uh, 5.6 pounds of black assorted bricks because that's gonna be very, very helpful for some mock builds. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, the Lego movie characters and stuff like that went for uh, 25 bucks. The Star Wars guys, we got 69. Uh, <laughs> funny. And then the 25 pounds of stuff was $100, and then the uh, black stuff was 23. So not bad at all. It's finally all here. Might have been a few seconds for you guys, but it was actually like a month for me. I, I don't know what the deal is, but it, it took forever to get here. And they shipped it by FedEx, which is usually pretty fast. Either way, that box is full of minifigs. Haven't looked through them yet. This one's the black box full of black blocks only. And then this is the random like 10 pound lot, actually more than that. like. 20 pound lot of assorted Legos. So with just the black lot here, I'm actually gonna dump it all in here. Wow. Obviously they're all black, so they're incredibly hard to see, but there's like mesh here too. Hey, I mean, oh, a, a Batman thing. <laughs> I, that's just a lot of Lego. Bionicles, yes! I love Bionicles. Now, the, the Mega Lot. I, I don't know how to handle this exactly. I'm thinking we like layer by layer put it in this and then check out what's inside as it slowly gets dumped in. I, I do see like, that might be a Bionicle bit. I don't know. It seems like, yeah, there were some like sets in here or something. Honestly, not entirely sure. Just a lot of randomness in here, but let's start dumping. Ooh, what's this? Is that like a piece of the Statue of Liberty or something? I have no idea. No idea. The first layer has been dumped and actually, there's an entire Lego booklet in there from 2017. If you know what set that could be from, let me know. But <laughs> the, the exposed bit here uh, has shown some interesting things. I mean, I kind of thought there wouldn't be any Lego minifigs, but I was wrong. There's like a Lego zombie arm from Minecraft. So that's cool. Um, there's a croissant. That's epic. Yo, I was wrong. There are minifigs in this. 
Oh, that's sick. Okay, cool. I thought they would have just dug through and, and stolen all the minifigs and sold them separately, but no, there's minifigs in this. Let's go. I found the rest of the zombie. I just wish I hadn't already probably dumped the arm in here. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do now is sort of this, like slowly scrape layer by layer. Oh, lightsaber hilt. That's not bad. Slowly drip them in, and that way I can see if there's any minifigs or anything like that as they go in and pluck them out as we go. So I will record if I find anything cool or interesting. There's some wire, I'm gonna take that out. <laughs> Every Lego box has to have some random crap in it that you have no idea what it's from, but it's definitely not Lego. Either way, that's the strategy. I'll update you when we have updates. Bro, it's Babu Gabu. Um, <laughs> well, half of Babu Gabu. Maybe that's what that green thing was. Maybe it was his ears or something. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, maybe that's like his ears? Definitely had some Minecraft stuff in here because there is a compass right here. I'm gonna start taking out accessories and things like that that I see as well, because those are always good to have for mystery boxes. And we have a piece of hair, that's disgusting. And we found the Mandalorian, Baby Yoda's caretaker. There we go, very nice. Copped a couple of nice accessories, some random garbage that was in there as well. Nothing too crazy or exciting to jump out about yet, but we're working on it. Maybe there's something really cool in here. Bro, what is this? It's got like octopus legs. <laughs> All right, that's bizarre. Either way, we're about halfway through the box right now. Uh, some interesting stuff. First of all, a penny. That's like profit right there, straight profit. Also, a few base plates, which is pretty nice. Base plates are really expensive for Lego. This one, though, has like a bite out of it, some small child ate part of it. But the other two are nice and intact, so clean those up and it's good. Oh, also, that's kind of like a base plate, I guess. Well, it's like a number two bag sealed. If you recognize these pieces and you can tell me what it's from, that'd be interesting. Um, as well as another sealed bag. This time it's like yellow and orange stuff. Also found a few more minifig parts, but um, not really any whole figures again. And some more interesting accessories and more garbage as well. So that's fun. Okay, it's all in here now. Um, these are other sets I already had in here, but uh, yeah, I mean, nothing too exciting in here. Found some more cool accessories. I'm sure there's more stuff in there that I missed too. Nothing too crazy. It's just nice to have some bricks available. Also, a couple of more of those sealed packs showed up, so that's neat. Uh, a free watch band. Piece of a watch band. That's cool. <laughs> Okay, no it's not. Let's go look at the minifigures now. Okay, after thoroughly washing my hands because that was kind of gross, here we have the minifigs. And it looks like they tried putting them in bags and there's one good bag, but the other bag like spilled out. So I guess we'll do that bag first. First off, right off the rip here, we have the chef. Hello, very nice. As well as the green lantern right there. All right, decent. Decent enough, not not anything crazy. We have an Athenian woman, and maybe it's an Amazonian from Wonder Woman? Not entirely sure, let me know in the comments if you do know. Then we've got a uh, firefighter, random farmer, a nerd farmer, bully him. Then we've got, oh, shaky camera. Some sort of space woman, I guess? Never seen this before, what is this from? Emmett with a scarf. Then we've got a construction worker foreman and uh, Bill from accounting. Actually, I think this is a scuba guy. He just looks like he's in like a weird suit, I guess. Yo, I don't know who this is. Uh, police officer, pretty generic. Oh, this is the girl from um, the Lego movie, right? Definitely is. I don't remember her name. Uh, we got a robber here. I've actually never seen this robber before. This is cool. That's actually a really cool robber Lego. I like that a lot. And then, oh, here's the ghost. Yeah, I, I see these all the time. I've never actually owned one. Um, actually, this is the Morgan Freeman ghost, isn't it? Didn't these used to be like super rare or something? And then Lego like reprinted them and they stopped being rare. Then we've got a uh, Coast Guard woman. Uh, Phoebe from Friends, maybe. And we got Batman. Oh, he, oh, he's all twisted around. What the heck happened to you, Batman? 
There you go, buddy. The caped crusader himself. Oh, we got a second one of these construction worker boys. Not bad, not bad, I'll take it. Yo, this one's actually kind of cool. Is this sort of like a safari adventurer or something like that? This one's actually kind of sick. I really like this minifig. And then we got ourselves a modern pirate biker dude and uh, an extra hat as well. Does anyone need a hat? Oh, Farmer Joe needs a hat. There you go, Farmer Joe. Okay, bag number one is done. Definitely the lamer of the two bags, just considering everything. Second bag was a lot more expensive and immediately way cooler. Uh, we've got ourselves a clone pilot here, phase one. He is missing a hand. Oh, I found the hand. I repeat, the hand has been found. Let's go. Then we do have ourselves a phase one Clone Wars style clone trooper. Uh, these are all actually really nice figures, not really too dirty or anything like that. Their joints move well, so I'm pretty happy about that. Ooh, then we've got actually Gree in phase one. I always thought Gree in phase one looks so cool, especially in Lego form. Then we got a whole bunch of uh, Death Watch Mandalorians here. The Mando boys have joined the town. Uh, and we actually have four of them. That's a heck of a lot, holy cow. Okay, four Mando boys right here. We got the one, the only, Jar Jar. Oh no, this is not Jar Jar, this is just a Gungan. Might be the Gungan captain, I can't remember his name, but apparently they equipped him with a blaster. And finally, the two best figures in the lot, in my opinion, are going to be the two Utapau troopers. Yeah, these guys are real nice. They're super clean too, which is so nice that this lot is like basically pristine. They move excellently. I see no cracks, anything like that. Oh, these, these are some nice figures right here. So we got two Utapau troopers right there from the Clone Wars, baby. Now guys, I want to give back to you guys in the community. So if you go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on and comment down below which of these is your favorite item that you have seen in this video, then I will give you all four Mandalorian Death Watch Troopers right here. I forget if earlier in the video I announced a giveaway or not since it was a month ago that I recorded that. So if I do have two giveaways going on, there will be two winners. Uh, if I only did this one giveaway, there will be one winner. I can't remember. Either way, do all those things and you have a chance to win these four Mandalorians. I will announce the winner of the giveaway in the next video in the description below. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.